Hey friends, I thought that I would come back and we could talk further about this morning's message. And um, it's such a good one that it's hard to, you know, just spend eight minutes and just tell you everything that I wanted to, to share with you. So I thought, you know what, let me come back. I have a few minutes and I can maybe share some more insight today to today's message. I'm sorry. Um, but I think I title, I will title this video, You Are Not a Slave. And I say that because so many people get caught up in just being saved. I'm saved by grace. I don't have to know anymore. You know, I don't have to do anymore. And it's so unfortunate that many believers get caught up and they just get stuck, you know, on... I have my salvation. I've got my freedom papers. I'm free in Christ. But they don't learn any more about God or the kingdom. They don't practice or put into motion all of the things that God wants to, to teach us in his word so that you are not walking as a slave. You are not uh, what is pictured in Ecclesiastics 10 verse 7 where it says, I have seen servants riding like princes. And princes walking like servants. You are not a slave. When you come into the knowledge of Christ, when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, guess what? You are seated in heavenly places. You have access to things that non-believers don't have access to. But sadly, many believers get stuck on, am I saved? And they never move further in Christ. And I find it just is so sad because when I try to teach many believers um, about kingdom principle, they sadly get stuck on that. Well, why do I need to know all of this? I'm saved. I'm good. And, and they just don't have a desire to grow in the things of Christ. They want the blessings, but they really don't know how to attain them because they don't know um, what it means to live. Um to live out the principles of the kingdom, which are found all in the word of God. So the title of this video is You Are Not a Slave. Um, in Ecclesiastic, there's a verse that says, there is an evil which is under the sun. Are we not all experiencing this evil at some point in our lives where you see people in key positions and you wonder what in the world, how do they get there? Like the Bible says, marvel not at the evil people when you see them prosper because it's only for a time. But I think it's important to understand that even non-believers, even those who don't serve the kingdom of light, but actually serve the kingdom of darkness, use Bible principles. That's why you see all this new age occultism and you see people do vision boards. Well, where did that come from? Habakkuk 2.2, write out the vision. They're taking kingdom principle, but they're applying it for themselves and trying to leave out God. We see that a lot. We see books called The Secret all of these things, where are they pulling out all of these principles from? The Bible. But believers are unaware. They walk in ignorance because they don't study the word of God. Um, so you see evil people. You see the wicked fasting. <laughs> fasting, you all. Even they know the power of fasting. You know, and unfortunately, we have believers who don't fast, who don't pray, who don't understand biblical principle. So if you're on my channel, God sent you here because that is the purposes that the Lord has given me. He's gifted me to be able to teach kingdom principle and he's enlightened me on the revelations of the word of God, word of knowledge. Those are just a couple of the giftings that the Lord has um, given me. And that's why I find it so joyous to come and share that knowledge with you all. So if you're on my channel, you know it's not by accident. How you found me, I have no clue because you all know I don't ever say subscribe and, and share. If you came to this channel, the Lord led, led you here. <laughs> God is so good, isn't he? And I'm thankful for every last one of you. But he says there's something that he sees in the world that is evil and he sees slaves on horses and he sees the princes walking by foot, dust, covered by dust. And God wants us to arise and shine. He wants to take, he wants us to rule and reign in this life. He has given us the keys, but we have to know our authority in Christ. And sadly, too many of us are walking around 
as slaves when we're not meant to be that way. So I need you to shake the dust off your feet and get ready to rule and reign. 2021 is a year of victory, you all. God has all kinds of amazing plans for his people in this season. So shake the dust off. Let me read to you Isaiah 52. It says, shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. He said, loose thyself. Too many people are waiting for someone else to deliver them. (laughs) Well, God, listen. You got to deliver yourself. He said, loose thyself. How do you do that, Marilyn? You do that through Christ Jesus. There is liberty in Christ Jesus. You do that by walking with the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's why you can't do it. It's not done by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. It is time to let the nation see your light. How are you going to bring people to the kingdom if you don't have something about you that that uh, beckons people to come, beckons people to want to know more about your God? He gets glory by the prosperity of his children. You're not meant to be beggars. You're meant to be lenders. You're not meant to be borrowers. So you have to reprogram your mind, break the chains of poverty off of your mind. God wants you to prosper. And listen, there are some believers that don't believe it. Hey, I'll take your portion. (laughs) If you don't want to prosper in the land, if you don't want to be blessed, if you don't believe in the Deuteronomy 28 blessings and you, hey, want to live meagerly, I will take your portion. Believers have to be very careful about what they look their nose down on because what you can't celebrate, what you can't hope and believe for, then you can't partake in it. And I think that's where a lot of believers have gone wrong and really need to repent because they haven't celebrated the blessings of God's people. God's people are meant to rule and reign. And sadly, sometimes the church is coming against each other. The church divided cannot stand, right? We have to be unified. And I think that's important to understand. So get your freedom papers in Christ. You got your freedom papers. Now what? You are not a slave, right? So I just want to pray over you and say some declarations with you so that you can reverse the situation in your life. If you're walking like a servant (laughs) and you need to be ruling and reigning, I want to pray these declarations over you. So God, as I pray these declarations, may they bless your children. And I want you to just repeat these things after me. Father, I have walked in the dust enough. Please dust me up and put me on the horse of dignity in Jesus' name. Father, I pray against disappointment at the point of breakthrough in my life in Jesus' name. Lord, destroy today every power imposing the life of a slave on me in my business, ministry, career, marriage, whatever. In Jesus' name, you just fill in the blank. My father, whoever may be riding upon the horse meant for me, bring him down today in Jesus' name. Father, wherever I am being treated unfairly, fight for me and get me my rights back in Jesus' name. My father, please remove from me every garment of suffering in Jesus' name. Jehovah, in the coming days, and even in our nation, in political positions, Lord, remove those who shouldn't be there and replace them with righteous people, dear Heavenly Father, who can rule and reign and guide our nation in the right direction, leading us back to God. Lord, as we walk through life, let us attract the good you have destined for us. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, we pray, and we say amen. I pray that those declarations will bless you say those declarations we have to decree and declare the word of God there is blessing in speaking those things out into the atmosphere so you are not a slave you were meant to rule and reign and I want you to remember that you are the apple of God's eye you are the head not the tail you are a lender not a borrower Okay, you are above only and never beneath. May this word bless you. May it edify you. 
And may the Lord keep you and may his face shine upon you. You all have a beautiful weekend. And I am not coming back on until Monday, God willing, because I'm going to spend time with my family. And I am going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And I will see you soon. Bye.